when we're talking about this recovery and, and the European uh, Commission perspective with, with, with Sylvia being in DG, DG Grow, um, what did the European Commission do, for example, to, to, to face this crisis and, and what can we learn for the future? Yes, well, um, I think that the European Commission has been in the news quite a lot lately on uh, about the, the huge recovery package that was uh, presented yesterday. Uh, of course, this has to be uh, still approved by, by the Parliament and especially by the Council, so we will see what that leads to. But as far as my DG is concerned, I'm, uh, I must admit that the, the, um, the reaction of the European Commission in general, in general at the beginning was quite slow. But then once the, the depth and the, and the gravity of the situation was actually understood, uh, we all sprang into action and we actually worked very hard in the first couple of weeks to ensure that the goods were circulating freely, that uh, there would be some sort of depository of uh, medical devices and, uh, and personal protective equipment at European level and, uh, and that uh, all, uh, all the things that needed to be done and the, the goods were circulating freely. And also now with uh, everyone asking themselves if there will be a summer, if we can go to Spain, if we can go to France. Um, also there, the European uh, Commission is working very hard with member states in order not to have uh, a pick and choose uh, depending on the tourist nationality but uh, having something at, uh, at European level that would, uh, that would make sense. So I would say that um, even though there was a slow start, the European Commission definitely uh, picked up and cleaned their work afterwards.